Bone 23 videos. Greetings from the White Run Stables, my friends. This is episode 7 of the Pure Altma Wizard. Gillian, our hero who will only trade with other mages and Altma, is on his way to Solitude. Of course, Solitude, because there is a shop that could make all the difference. Radiant Raymond. Making money from enchanted gear and not weapons is tough and on legendary survival difficulty you cannot just wait a day or another to get your stuff sold. No, you have to really deal with the few available people you can trade with. Now of course I know you can hit them to reset their money and goods, but where is the fun in that? So let's go back to Solitude, the place where Gillian was arrested and almost beheaded for misunderstanding a trade as a kind offer. Let's go! I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Sounds good. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Solitude. Climb and back and we'll be off. First time to Solitude? Yes. Well, no. Old city, capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already knew that. I've been there before. They can't hurt Uncle Rogvir. Another beheading. Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Will this work? Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Is it over? Yes. Um, Some gate guard you were. Is it over? I think I expected Good riddance more. to bad rubbish, I say. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. Oh. Rock joint. Good to know. Okay. Warm food, warm drinks. This is an old. Oh, I guess it's all over. I expected. Oh, I don't know what I expected. Seems there's always more to be done. Of course. Who's in charge of solitude? Jarl Elisif the Fair. Poor woman. Losing her husband and king like that. It was a dark day for us all. Damn. We'll that reminds me, I have a delivery to make to her steward, Falk Firebeard. He ordered a special bottle of Strauss Mackay rum. I can deliver that for you. Save me a lot of trouble. Here, take it to the Blue Palace. It will be done. Nah, I was done talking anyway. We're the children of Skyrim and we fight all our lives. And we'll You. True. I may if you're heading to the Blue Palace, sword. you might want to but rethink that. Out Whoa! Of the lines of your face present a most symmetrical aspect. Do you always insult people when you meet them? It's not an insult, just an observation. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where a tire is concerned. <laughs> Great. What's wrong with my outfit? Nothing at all. It's very nice. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should come by our shop, Radiant Raiment. We could fix you right up. I sure will. So, what should I wear to the Blue Palace? You're really going to the Blue Palace? That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raiment's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Sounds easy enough. I'll do it. Good. Here's the outfit. 
Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raymond. It shall be done. Remember Radiant Raymond when you need a change of attire. Do I want to sell anything right now? What's the time? I can't. I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. I wish only to graduate. Who are you? We think that. Oh, yeah. Take my advice. Never gamble. Damn, Ernskar has me in debt up to the eyes. You're in debt to Ernskar? Too many drinking games, too many bets, and I'm too old to ever raise the coin on my own. What if I talk to Ernskar? He's a stubborn oaf. I don't know what good it'll do. You should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. Let me talk to the beggar. Being old's not so bad. Spare some gold for a veteran? Sure, here, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. It's best you leave me if you're interested, traveler. So... My speech skill is... 26 now. It's probably not enough. Hmm, leaks. Yeah, let's pick them up. Sure, use a warm bed right about now. Hey, Dervenin. You, you help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. What do you need? My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? How can I find your master? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Yarrow. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. I see. Why do you need him back? Without his guidance, our homeland is falling apart. North wages war against South. The Holy Flame flickers and dies. We need his return. Oh, but I'm sure he'll repay you when he comes to his senses. His favor is a powerful, powerful thing. And so very worth any inconveniences. I see. Until next time. Until next time. Is this open? It could be open. Yes. Hey, Anska. Unless we have specific business. I'm not interested. I'd like you to forgive Octave's debts. Debts are debts. Either he pays them, or his kind do. He's an old man. Let it go. Fine. Ha! You sound like a priest of Mara, but I get your point. Tell him to forget about the gold. Keep your sword arm strong. Great. I didn't check if I was friends with them now. How many hawk feathers do I have? Six. That's enough. 
I'm not that tired. I don't need that. I'm not selling anything right now. So let this start. Skip it by getting out. Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the. Let's put on Radiant Raymond's clothes. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. <laughs> this is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for. Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. But about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. All right. With the passing of my dear husband, Torig, the weighty position of Jarl has fallen to me. Please direct questions to my steward. Do you like my outfit? It's quite fetching, actually. The craftsmanship is excellent. It was made by Radiant Raymond. Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. All right. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Do you? I am the Jarl Steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Jarl is not to be disturbed with common affairs at court. You direct those concerns to me. I see. I have a delivery from Sorex Vinius. Oh, right, the rum. Thank you. I developed a taste for it after a fair weather trip to Hammerfell. Here, this is for you. Great. I need to get into the Pelagius wing. Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years, and for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. Please, feel I see. Welcome in the Court of Solitude. Let's disenchant. I will keep that for a moment. Okay. And let's enchant. The best thing that I have right now is... I think carry weight. Let's check. Two sixty. I must protest, my yard. A parade would make you an easy yep, target. Two sixty. You're safer here in the palace. Okay. Let me just make a few. One more. That should be enough. Yep, 
I need to talk to Erdi and she's not here. Let's go to sleep. I have a free bed now. At the Winking Skeever. Hey, Octave. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. Ernskars agreed to forgive your debt. You've done a fine thing for me. You know, I used to be quite a warrior in my day. Let me show you a thing or two. Two-handed, huh? Daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. Stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Oh, there you are. Hey, Erdi. So exciting when new Are you my gallant hero? Have you come to whisk me away to a life of adventure and romance? Absolutely not. I need to get into the Pelagia's wing. Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. I think I need to lie. Fog asked me to check it out. Well, I suppose in that case it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Okay. I need to get back to the palace soon anyway. Hmm. Where's the guy? I want my free bed. Nope. Ah, there you are. I wanted you to have this. A token of my affection. Don't mean we're engaged or nothing. Steel War X. Really, no. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Ah, it's already done, I see. I was done talking anyway. Okay. What's the time? Loot first. This place got looted. And that's it. Let's sleep for five hours. Magicka. Magicka. Health. Enchanter 2. And Enchanter 3. That would be very good. But I need these stronger. By all means. For the darkness ha past and the legend yet grows. You'll know, my you'll know my spell. the dragon If you want it dead, come. I'll make it dead. Divines bless you. Here is another gold piece, quickly. Master. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. It's best you leave me be. Let me pick another quest. How do you feel? Not so good, obviously. Ah. Welcome to Angela's Aromatics. Can I help you with some herbal needs? No. You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to Whiterun? Actually, yes. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter Fura was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. I haven't met her, but I could try to get more information. Oh, that's very sweet of you. 
anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. Right. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. And let's do that. Talk to Captain Aldous. Yes? Captain, Angeline sent me to ask about her daughter. Generally posting information is need to know only. I think Angeline needs to know. I, I've been trying to find Great. time and place to let her know. Her daughter was sent to Whiterun. The skirmishes there have been violent. The Whiterun legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. I've been looking for you. Yeah? Okay. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. Um, Temple of the Divines. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I help? I want the Shrine of Xanatar for 100 gold. The priest of the eight divines, I bid you welcome. You look Let's get the business started. By talking to Angeline Morard. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from... Yeah, yeah. Run, I have you? some news about your daughter. You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? Angeline, Mrs. Morard, your daughter is dead. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. Great. If you're looking for potions, let's loot this place. Place, place got looted. And that's it. Now, the thing that is great here is these novice robes of illusion and these blue mage robes for free. Let me cook. Fourteen vegetable soup. That's a lot. I want these boots too. Let's find Tari. Where is she? I didn't see you there. You want something from me? Elisif loved the outfit. She'll be placing an order soon. That's wonderful. You've done us a great service. As promised, the outfit is yours. And thank here's something for your trouble. Oh, thank you. 400 Remember gold. When you need a change of attire. Hello. Oh. What delight. Another charming sister. customer. Yeah, that's me. You have a bad day? It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. I see. Do you get a lot of business like that? 
Radiant Raiment has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. I see. What have you got for sale? Let's see if we can't find an outfit that suits you. Oh. Let me first put on my amulet of Xanatar. Finally. Oh, let me just drop... Yeah. Take a look. Show me. I'm looking for one thing. The sneak enchantment. Oh, it is here, but it's too expensive. How the hell do I get 3000? I need that. I doubt it will be here when I come back. There is no easy way to make money here anymore. Okay, let's sell first. Let me loot this place first. Thank the gods for the end of yet another pointless conversation. This place got looted. Okay. I got all the freebies. Let me sell. Oh, what a delight. Yeah, what Another have you got? Chunk. Breeches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, really. It is getting so close. So close. 18 gold. That's all I'm missing. 18 gold. Finally. Where can I make gold? Hey, Sibyl. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. I see. What have you got for sale? Take a look. All I want is your money right now. For books. That was a lot of books. Take care of yourself. And Let's go back to Radiant Raymond. Right. Let's see if she still has it. Oh, what a lie. Show me. Take a look. You still have it. And you had it cheaper. I could have had it a moment before. Yeah. Ooh. I want this. And only this. I think. Haggling would be great. But I cannot afford it. Will you keep my money? We'll see. Finally. I have way too much food. Let's store this. Just stoke the fire. This Take one's a, a favorite the of cold out. A legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero, paint a warrior's heart. Yep, right in here. Oh. You, I tell you the mm. dragonborn comes. Or here? With a voice I would love this container. Of the ancient Nord, a 
Okay, let's do it like this. I'm taking it. And I'm putting the amethyst. And the fine clothes. In here. All right. Let me disenchant. And this. This was carry weight with 253 and this is sneak with 312. It is the most valuable enchantment you can get on armor. Well done. Not many enchanters could pull that off. I know. I'm trying here. So, that's it. I have no more soul gems. Let me see what you want for a soul gem. Be quick. I have little patience. Yeah, show me. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Lessers for 57, these for 23, this for 91. I don't think I can make a win buying a filled paddy. Ha. <laughs> So expensive. Ninety one. Yeah, I want spells. I want calm. I want fast healing. I want healing hands. I want muffle. Yep, that's that. No, it's just 128. 120, it's not worth it. Maybe it is. Let me buy this. Not this, but this. I don't have much left to sell. Take it. Let's learn the new spells. Self and always remember. And let's start muffling. The world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. Wait. Let's sell the rest of what I have to Radiant Raymond. I need the money. Hey, hey, 
Do you still have my money? Oh, so nice to have pleasant company for a change. Thank you. Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. I don't mind. Great. Take a look. Yes, you do. So, what do I have? I don't need eight pairs of fine boots. Make it two. I don't need these. But these are warm. Let's keep them for now. No, I need to enchant these first. Or do I? I need the money. Yep, I need the money. All right. Finally. And now, them Imperials left me to die in let's go get the Webberjack. But of course, the Webberjack adventure will be told in the next episode. If you know what to do, it can be easily done at level 1, because you don't need weapons or skills for it. Just the work of your mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Does Gillian really need the Webberjack? Well, yes and no. This stuff is highly unpredictable, but it will come in very handy, especially because of its ability to kill an enemy with one hit. Can you beat Skyrim with just using the Webberjack? There is a video about this by Mitten Squad, which is enjoyable. I posted a link up there. Well, I think it is a good thing for Gillian to have the Webberjack, because it might offer a solution when everything else fails. But I will not rely on it, because it needs most of all luck. And I do not want my game to be based on luck. I hope you enjoyed this episode without any fights. It was a very important one though, because it made Gillian so much stronger. And with the sneak enchantment, our business model is already almost complete. You take care now, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.